Despite being an extra county high school, Mahiga Secondary School has proved its muscle in competing with the academic giants of this country. Maybe national schools, uh, the, the boys and the girls should be more challenged because they have the potential. You were talking of a uh, student with over 400 marks. When ours must be below uh, 300 um, because we take from below 400 in the two, like this year, we have given the leader at one two, three ninety nine. When of course the BG Gandu and the Kagumo they have above four hundred. I think it's just a matter of telling them they can. Even as girls' schools dominated the top ten positions across the country, Kagumo Boys High School takes pride being ranked the first school in Mount Kenya region and Nyeri County. Competition is very very stiff. All schools are working very hard to be at the top. And I would say comparatively, the boy child is also not very, very bad. Comparatively, they are also doing well. So we cannot dismiss the boys. I think the way the institutions are run matters a lot. Whether the administration is supportive, the BOM is supportive, the Ministry of Education is supportive. And then we also, as teachers, pray our part. Because there is no in between. Out of the 47 counties in the country, only 32 had schools featuring in the top 100 list in this year's KCSE exam. Regions that didn't feature, such as Garissa, Marsabit, Tana River, and Isiolo, faced challenges in security, drought, and poor infrastructure. Some counties, hosting known academic giants such as Baringo County, which hosts Sacho High School and Cabernet High School, were missing from the list. The crowd is level. There is no mischief in the exams. Now the true colors of the schools can be seen. So I would say, I would pray that the reforms continue so that students get what they deserve. Milita, Ole Tenges, NTV.